taped across the top of my mother-in-law's refrigerator is a newspaper clipping that reads, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I remember seeing it a long time ago and thinking, that's not true. Daddy needs to be happy too. I was so wrong. I studied the great chain of being at some point. In the Middle Ages, scholars ranked everything they knew existed in order of its importance to God. God and his angel buddies were first, dirt was last, and everything else was somewhere in between. My household has the Marston family great chain of being. It's not printed, there's no flip charts or laminated cards, but it's real. At the top is my wife. When she gets home, the dog goes nuts. My children ask about her when she's not there. Where's mom, they'll say. She's not here, what can I do for you? Nothing, they'll say, I'll wait for her to get home. Really, I say, I'm right here, right now. I'm capable. I've been alive for a long time and I know some stuff. How can I help? I'll just wait for mom. Really, I say, yeah, they say and walk away disappointed. They're telling me that I'm not a good judge of things and not a good decision maker, not a good font of advice. And they're probably right. It stings, but I'm used to it. Below my wife on the Marston family great chain of being are my four kids and they rotate who's up and who's down. It's not an organized rotation. It's simply which ones have made us happiest most recently. Good grades and they move up. No clothes on their bedroom floor. They move up. But unflushed toilets and leaving the front door wide open knocks them down. It's a constant shuffling. They know what they can do to move up, but mostly they don't seem to really care. Below the kids yet attached to them are their devices, their phones and gadgets and video games. If our child loses a phone, our household goes into a kind of lockdown panic interrogation mode where deep memories of recent activities, locations, and movements between locations are deeply prodded. It's tense and can get angry and ugly. Below the kids and their devices is a tie between the dog and the trampoline. And notice that I'm not on this list yet, by the way. The dog and trampoline were begged for by the kids with heaps of promises about the attention and care and upkeep that will be given to both, but are now mostly neglected and leave only big brown spots in my yard. Next is me. I'm just above dirt. My wife will disagree and say it upsets her that I think this is so, but it's true. I'll smile and nod and say I'm only kidding. Don't want to upset her. Because when mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I'm Cam Marston. I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more of my Keeping It Real commentaries, enter Keeping It Real with Cam Marston into your Facebook search bar or search for Keeping It Real with Cam Marston at your favorite podcast site.